Hello, Scorpios. This is your February monthly. <clears throat> this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Scorpio. We're going to get started with the Celtic Cross here. All right. Oh, that's the energy around you. Just knowing the truth, seeing things for what they really are here. Let's see what's challenging you guys. I'm going to turn these cards face down, but that one flipped over. So, hey, who am I to turn it back over? That's what's challenging you. Let's see what the issue is here. In the recent past events for Scorpio. Best possible outcome in this situation. What's coming in for you guys. How you're feeling about this. Your outside influence. Your hopes. Your fears. And the overall outcome here. All right, my Scorpio. Those cars just spinning over there. All right, so... We already see the energy that's going on around you is the Ace of Swords. This is um, having a revelation, knowing the truth without somebody actually speaking it to you. Um, I think that there's something that you guys are trying to figure out, um, seeing, the, seeing the situation for what it really is, okay? So let's see what's challenging you guys right now. Hmm. The Five of Swords. There's something that you're struggling with currently. And um, I think you're trying to figure something out. And so I feel like what your challenge is currently is to fight for something, whether it's the truth, whether it's a person. Um, fight to see things clearly. Okay? See the truth in the situation. Let's see what's going on in the past. See what we're fighting for. Hmm. The Knight of Cups. Hmm. Maybe there's somebody that um, that offered you something in the past that maybe you did not think it was like it wasn't real. Is what I'm getting here. There's something that was going on with somebody that I feel like. You know, both of you guys probably share um, this the, these emotions for each other. Or maybe you offered somebody something before and they kicked against it. Maybe they shot it down here. Aquarius energy here. But there's something that you need to see the truth about in this situation currently let's see what the issue is here hmm a lot of you are feeling um regret surrounding this situation feeling down feeling hurt feeling like um you've lost a love here something related to love i think you guys offered something to someone here and you told them the truth about how you felt and this person you feel like didn't do right by you they hurt you and I think now you're feeling regretful not only that you're not with this person but maybe you're feeling kind of regretful about even offering them your love even there's something that I feel like is going on here um, where you guys are having a lot of regrets maybe something happened in the past with this person where they felt like you guys did something to them and so now that they've had a chance to like have some get back that's that's what's happened here but i'm getting the feeling that they're you know that you know the truth in this situation and i think there's something that you're not seeing clearly okay it's around you but you're not seeing it clearly. Let's see what the best possible outcome is here. Um, I think this is for you guys. This is self-sacrificing. Looking at the world from an introspective point of view. Trying to see is there something that you did to contribute here. 
Okay, taking the time out for yourself, not doing anything, and just kind of reflecting. Piscean energy there. Let's see what's coming in for you guys here. The chariot. I think you guys will get past this. I think that you will be able to see the truth in this situation. And then maybe some of you will decide to fight for this situation. Maybe you know the truth around why somebody, um, why somebody, you know, broke up with you or told you the things that they told you. And maybe it's just something that you're really not wanting to see. Is what I'm getting here, okay? Let's see how you're feeling about this situation. You're feeling like this person has moved on, but you're also feeling like um, you're just wanting to move on past this. Look for better opportunities. Look for things that better serve you. Aries energy there. Your outside influence is the Page of Pentacles. I think somebody here is deciding to um, move on to different things here. Okay, something that's going to bring them stability. Uh, maybe somebody walked away from you in search of something else. Hmm. Your hopes here, you just want to be happy. You want to be happy. I think you guys want to be enlightened. I think your confidence um, is kind of shattered right now uh, if somebody rejected you. I think, you know, you're just really trying to build yourself back up. But I think this is also you guys being self-aware, you know, being enlightened here with issues that, you know, you may have contributed as well to this situation along with this person. Um, because, you know, it's rarely one-sided when things go downhill. Somebody else may have more of, um, more of an input into why things ended, but it's rarely one-sided. Let's see what your fears are. Hmm. Your fear is not being able to see the truth, not seeing like the happiness in this situation, what um, what you can get out of it, learning what makes you happy, learning the things that um, that you need to in order to you know move forward here. Okay, let's what the overall outcome is for you guys. Six of Cups. I feel like this is you reuniting with someone from your past. Um, I feel like this issue is all about past happenings with this person, to be honest with you. I think this is a cycle for you guys in this life. That this is something that you've been through with this person before. You know, I almost get that one of you, um, maybe you were the runner before and they were the chaser. I think the, the roles have kind of been reversed right now is what I'm getting here from you guys, okay? But I do see that this is coming back around. So if this person is running right now, I feel like they're definitely coming back. Right now, they're in search of something else. And I think it has something to do with um, finances here, okay? Something that they just started that they are um, feeling like will be something that will grow them not only financially but I, I feel spiritually as well i feel like you know there's something going on here with this person currently and they're going through this growth period okay i think maybe their finances have been low because it's, it's something that um that like an idea or a plan that they have that's going to bring them stability in their um financially with the pentacles here it's the only pinnacle card we have so i feel like that's what they're they're striving towards right now so if you guys were with someone in the past and you know you guys like you know you separated because you know you were running you were you were probably doing things that you know weren't beneficial for the relationship and then you guys got back together and then this person is now doing things that's not beneficial for the relationship. I feel like that's going to change for you. I feel like this is coming back around. But in the meantime, while this person is running, okay, and exploring things and growing within themselves, doing the things that are necessary for them right now, 
there's a need for you guys to really kind of look at this situation here and fight to see the truth okay Fight to see the truth in this situation. And it also involves looking inside yourself to find the truth. Okay? Looking at this um, from both points of view, if you can, to find the truth in this situation. All right, guys? So, my Scorpios, that is what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. We have um, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Um, maybe Capricorn energy, I feel. Aries, Cancer, and um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Pisces, I see. All right, guys, so I will be speaking with you soon. Bye.